Hey sneak peekers, we're here on the carpet of Sasquatch Sunset to learn more about the film. So, quick question. Um, I know that you guys did a lot of character work leading up to the production of this movie. So how is it different working on the improv of this movie into production of the movie? Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, uh, we went, we, did, we created like a Sasquatch like boot camp like prior to filming the movie, which just included like a uh, movement coach, like coming up with literally like a uh, vocabulary for the words or the grunts that we use when we're dealing with each other, when there's conflict, when we're ser when we're seeking out other Sasquatches, different vocal, you know, uh, utterances. Um, and it was so much fun during that week of Sasquatch boot camp. And then the actual filming of the movie was fun, but also like insanely excruciating because, you know, you're wearing face makeup, like glue on every, I just want, I just want the wonderful students of UT to picture putting glue all over your face and then once the glue is there putting hair all over the glue and then once the hair is there spray painting the hair to look a certain thing and then dealing with that for like 12 hours a day it's so painful I don't need sympathy but I just want understanding and so that's what the daily experience of shooting was and so it was like this physical exertion and that and then like you would look in the mirror you know halfway through the day or whatever and realize that this is like the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life and it's worth all of it yeah, of course, and with so much prosthetic makeup on, how is it portraying a Sasquatch and what challenges came with that? Yeah, portraying a Sasquatch was interesting. Like for me as an actor, like I spent my life acting in regular movies, you know, playing myself, and you have like this unconscious sensor of when you're overacting, meaning like when you're performing, but you're kind of like overdoing it, you know what I mean? And as like a film actor, you like notice sense of yourself and never do that. That's like, you know, the third rail of acting is don't <laughs> overact, you know? And this, being in a Sasquatch suit, being buried below so much makeup and costume, you realize you have to overact in order to convey anything. So I just had to like kill the sensor in my head of overacting. So just allow yourself to kind of overdo it a little bit because otherwise it's impossible to perceive what we're doing. You know what I mean? Because it's buried. And one last thing. Uh, do you have any advice for students pursuing filming or acting? Yes. My advice to anybody pursuing acting is if you're going to do a movie in full body makeup and in full uh, face makeup, just make sure you love it so much. Make sure you love the movie so much. When I read the script, I called David Zellner who wrote this script and I was like, this is going to be many, many people's favorite movie of all time. Every, you know, alt kid in high school and um, an adult who feels like, you know, out of place and likes kind of quirkier movies like this is gonna be their favorite movie of all time which is the thing that got me through like this physical craziness every day so that is my advice to young actors I suspect you wanted some, a different answer but that's my answer as it relates to specifically to doing a Sasquatch movie thanks for watching if you want more of our South by Southwest content go ahead and click on one of the videos over here